very good morning to everybody today we will be discuss an important point topic related with the conducting sphere and that is conducting sphere with hemispheres at the different potentials this topics belongs to the classical electrodynamics related with the msc physics semester past what is the problems let us consider a conducting sphere of a radius r made up of the two hemispheres cell separated by a small insulating ring at z equal to 0 that is situated at the origin the hemispheres are kept at the different potentials plus minus v to calculate potential at point v can use the principle of supervision of the solutions for a sphere at the fixed potential over its whole surface as shown in the figure there are the two hemispheres one is related with the plus z and the second is related with the minus z from 0 to r that is the plus v and the 0 to minus r towards the z axis is the minus v potential so the potential at the axis is given by the source and its image in conducting sphere is the phi x equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon naught integration of the green function g x x days rho x days d v days minus 1 by 4 pi integration of the r square d omega days phi r theta phi days r square minus x square divided by r x square plus r square minus twice r x cos gamma 3 by 2. As previously we have calculated this is part related with the image the first term is related with the source charge here the d omega dash is the solid angle and this is equal to d cos theta dash d i dash gamma is the angle between the x and x dash x is the source point distance and the x dash is the distance for the observer so we can write cos gamma equal to the x vector dot x dash vector divided by the x dot x dash and that in the form of the angles we can write sin theta sin theta dash cos phi minus cos phi dash plus cos theta and cos theta dash in our problems there is no external source <coughs> so the rho x dash that is the surface sorry volume charge density for this is zero so the first term of this is where is zero and the potential at is only at the surface of the surface so sphere so the potential is the phi r theta dash phi dash equal to the plus v for the theta dash in between 0 to pi by 2 for the first positive m is sphere and the for the second that is potential is equal to minus v for the theta dash in between the phi by 2 and 2 pi if you want to change theta dash in terms of the cos theta dash then the limits are changed so the potential on the sphere is the phi r theta dash phi dash equal to the plus v for cos theta dash is in between 0 to 1 and minus v for the range cos theta dash is in between the minus 1 to 0 so the potential at any point due to the both hemispheres the phi x dash is equal to minus 1 by 4 by the crossed path of this one the d omega dash phi that is the potential r theta dash phi dash r square divided multiplied by the r square minus x square divided by r multiplied by r square plus x square minus twice r x cos gamma 3 by 2 and in this expression r and x both are constant and the variables is are only the x days theta prime and the phi prime so we can write the phi x dash equal to the r multiplied by the x square minus r square divided by 4 pi here the negative sign is changes due to the interchange of r square x square so 0 to 2 phi d phi dash is minus 1 to 0 minus v d cos theta dash divided by the r square plus x square minus twice r x cos gamma 3 by 2 plus 0 to 2 pi d phi dash 0 to 1 v d cos theta dash divided by the r square plus x square minus twice r x cos gamma 3 by 2. Now the special case because it is very complex relations between the gamma and the theta so we have to solve easiest problems and 
here we suppose that the the point situated on along the axis z axis only the observation point is at the distance z from the center towards the z axis so for this the cos theta equal to 1 because theta equal to 0 and sin theta equal to 0 so cos gamma is can be written as the 0 plus cos theta dash so this is only the cos theta dash like in this figure sort x equal to z we can calculate the potential and the to solve the above equation for the potential we have to use a particular integration that is the d cos theta dash divided by x square plus r square minus twice rx cos theta dash 3 by 2 here the x square plus r square is constant so we have to factor out and the d cos theta dash divided by 1 minus twice r x cos theta dash divided by x square plus r square 3 by 2 to solve this one we have used a symbols that alpha equal to twice rx divided by x square plus r square and the u here we use cos theta dash so this expression is connoted like this one 1 divided by x square plus r square 3 by 2 integration of the du divided by 1 minus alpha u 3 by 2 and here we also write 1 minus alpha u to the s so the minus alpha d equal to ds so the integration of this one is the minus 1 by alpha integration of the ds divided by s minus 3 by 2 so finally this expression is 1 by 3 x square plus r square 3 by 2 multiplied by x square plus r square divided by 1 root of 1 minus twice rx divided by x square plus r square so this expression is like this one 1 divided by rx x square plus r square 3 by 2 so substituting the value of the u as this is 1 divided by rx multiplied by x square plus r square minus twice rx cos theta so first expression that is limit from the minus 1 to 0 d cos theta dash divided by rx root of the x square plus r square minus twice rx cos theta dash equal to this is 1 by rx multiplied by the 1 divided by x square plus r square root minus 1 divided by x plus r and similarly for the second half that is 0 to 1 d cos theta dash divided by rx x square plus r square minus twice rx cos theta dash and this is equal to the 1 divided by rx 1 minus 1 divided by x minus r minus 1 divided by root of x plus r square so potential at the point is the phi x equal to the r multiplied by the x square plus r square divided by 2 x x v whole multiplied by the minus 2 divided by x plus r square power half plus 1 divided by x plus r plus 1 divided by x plus r so this can be rearranged and finally write phi x equal to the v 1 minus x square plus r square divided by the x x square plus r square 1 by 2 a special case for here because the distance along the z axis is the x equal to z so phi z equal to the v multiplied by the 1 minus x square r square by the z x plus r square 1 by 2 and at the surface of the sphere surface of the sphere z equal to r so we can write phi r equal to the v and the remaining components is 0 so this is the easiest way to calculate the pressure in the last special case you can write by phi x theta phi equal to the 3 v r square 2 x square cos theta minus 7 r square 12 x square phi by 2 cos square theta 3 by 2 cos theta and so we can write this is obtained with this x by r is the last distance so this is the near about 2% of the sphere so this is all about for this one thank you thank you very much